Hey everyone, I'm back again with more on the Sigma FP. If you didn't see my first video on the FP, I'll link to it in the description below. But I went over the camera, uh, the features of the camera. I shared some images with the camera in low light, high ISO, normal light. Uh, and I talked about my feelings for the camera. Here it is right now. And right now I have a Canon 50 f1.2 mounted with the Sigma adapter, um, which allows autofocus. You can see my little Rode uh, mic here, my lav mic. But today I want to share some video footage I captured with it. Very amateur video footage. I am not a cinematographer. But what's unique about the video footage I'm going to show you is it was shot in the lowest quality HD video footage you can get out of the camera. So I set it to normal HD, 24 frames per second. Uh, GOP for the video codec. I think that's what it's called, the codec. Uh, and there is all I, which will give you a little bit better quality, but the file sizes are huge. So I wanted to see what the lowest quality HD um, looks like out of the camera to check the dynamic range and all of that kind of good stuff. Let's take a look at the video uh, that I shot yesterday with the Sigma FP in the lowest HD quality. All right, so that was just some video clips I shot here at home at a butterfly uh, wonderland here in Scottsdale, Arizona, and uh, it did well. Now, the cons of the FP. I talked a lot about the FP in the first video, uh, the features, what I liked about it, the photo quality, which I am finding absolutely stunning. Uh, the color coming from the FP for me is some of the best I've seen in full frame 35 millimeter. Um, the low light performance is up there with the best of them, up there with Sony uh, actually in the low light department, up there with the Panasonic S1. Uh, beats my Leica SL in low light and I feel it equals or surpasses the SL, the original, uh, in color as well. So for me, this is a camera I will be using 95% of the time with Leica M mount lenses or something like this, a Canon uh, lens adapted, and I will shoot it manually. Uh, the autofocus is something on this camera that I wanna talk about when it comes to video. So if you shoot this in the cinema mode 
And Sigma is, you know, marketing this to uh, cinema camera users. If you're gonna shoot video, and even if you're using the, the Sigma 45.28 or a Sigma 21.4, I have the 20 millimeter 1.4 here, art lens. Just a quick sample here with the 20 millimeter F1.4 art lens by Sigma on the FP. You can see Debbie as she walks in and out of the frame and how slow the autofocus is. Here it did pretty good. The 21.4 actually does a little better than the 45.28 with autofocus. The camera, if you want to, if I can compare it to uh, autofocus performance, I would compare it to something like the Panasonic GH5 when shooting video with that camera. I found the focus, autofocus, to be horrendous with the GH5, and I still do. And that's about how this performs with video. With photo, you slap a 45.28, a 21.4, and the uh, autofocus in photo mode is really good. It's not anything like a Sony or Canon. You're not gonna shoot sports or action with this. It's not going to track your subject. Anything like a Sony A9, for example. But it will do very good for street photography, portraiture, family, vacation, static subjects. Uh, if you take the time to compose, frame your shot, the autofocus is fantastic. But where I find this camera uh, really excels is in using it with manual lenses, uh, like Leica M lenses, Voigtlander M lenses, retro lenses via adapters. Add on the viewfinder and it's an amazing experience to shoot like that. And when you get home and see the quality, I've been blown away by it. But the things that bug me about this camera are mostly all on the video side. The image stabilization is not good at all. It uses electronic image stabilization and it only works with some lenses. It will work with Canon lenses adapted using the Sigma adapter. It will work with L mount lenses that are native. It will not work with say like M mount lenses of any brand that I have seen. So there's no five axis, there's no gimbal like performance here. So if you're using this as a hobbyist, uh, amateur, or you just wanna dabble in video, do know the AF with video is gonna be a little on the slow side uh, some lenses will be quicker than others. The 45.28 uh, does seem to hunt a lot. The 21.4 art lens seems to have a nice slow steady transition with autofocus, but I have seen it miss. I have seen it lock on and then lose focus. So I wouldn't trust autofocus for video at this point. Others have asked me about the electronic shutter. There's no physical shutter in this camera. It's electronic only. And usually that brings with it a couple of problems. Um, you can have the rolling shutter effect with video or photos, the jello. I have not seen any evidence of any kind of pronounced rolling shutter effect at all in any of my footage, whether it be video or photo. Another thing that comes up with electronic shutters is banding uh, in certain artificial light scenarios. Say you're shooting with fluorescent lights around you. Most electronic shutters will present you with banding uh, and color issues within your images and video. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't exist in the FP, I just have not seen it yet. I have not had one photo or even one video where I've had an issue with banding or color issues. Using M-mount lenses, it works about the same on the FP as it does on the Leica SL with the Voigtlander lenses I use from 21 millimeter to 75. You have some slight vignetting on a couple of the F12 lenses, even the 21 millimeter lens, but there's no color shifts. There's no uh, nothing nasty in the images. It seems to be working really, really well. So I adore this camera for my use with the viewfinder, with an M lens attached, the manual focus, the manual operation aspect of it, because when I nail a shot, I feel like I got the shot not the camera, right? Today's cameras do everything for us from the focus to getting the perfect colors and exposures from getting eyes focused on animals in some Sony cameras. These cameras today from their five axis doing everything for us. This is a camera where you have to put a little bit of yourself into the experience, but when you get the shot, that shot that you love, you will feel really good about it because you caught it not the camera. So that's it for the Sigma FP. If you didn't see my original video, go check that one out. I'll link to it below. 
It's the video right before this one on this very channel. If you didn't see the written review and you're interested in this camera, there's a lot more there at stevehuffphoto.com. I'll put that link in the description below as well. If you like this video, if you like this channel, thumbs up and subscribe. There's always more here. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for watching. Bye.